So here we are on my Android TV home screen. Typical layout, we have some sponsored content, some sponsored applications, lots going on on the home screen. But watch what happens now when I press the home button on my device. One click and we are instantly taken to a custom launcher where we can see a nice widget at the top. We have a fully working video wallpaper. I can see all of my favorite applications. Everything is really fast, really fluid. And of course, without seeing any of those adverts, any of those sponsored applications, I can now go ahead and enjoy my Android TV or Amazon Fire TV device. So in this video today, let me show you how you can get this new launcher on all of your devices. I'll take you through the setup process. We'll look at some of the launcher features and I'll show you how you can get these video wallpapers working on all of your devices. So please do take a moment to hit that like button, make sure you hit that subscribe button. So with all of that being said, let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. So let me do the first part of my demonstration on my Nvidia Shield Pro. Then I jump over to my third generation Fire TV Cube so I can show you this launcher working on there. Now, as you can see, the launcher is called Emotin or Emotion or do leave me a comment below if you know how to pronounce it. Let's open that up. Then we start this for the first time. You'll see this prompt. I can click on Allow. And you can see straight away, the launcher does come with the built-in weather widget. So you don't need to install any third-party widgets or anything like that. As soon as you install this launcher, this automatically comes built in. And you can see that the launcher has a super clean layout. We have a My App section, which is currently blank. So I've not added any favorite applications. But if I just press down on the remote, this then shows me all of my installed applications. So I can launch one of these. Uh, like for example, um, explore that takes me straight to the application. And once I've finished, I can press back and we're back to the launcher. Now, if you want to add applications into your favorites for quick access, all I need to do is just press on the plus here where it says my apps. I can now add in, let's add in Plex. Let's click on the plus again. Let's add in my VPN. Let's click on plus and let's also add in my app killer new version should be out in the next few days. And lastly, let's add in a streaming application. We can add in Netflix. That's now all done. So we have our four favorite applications, but of course, if you want to, you can also add in more. Let's just add in local now. And you can see it then builds out the line. So you can now scroll to the right and see your favorite apps there. Now, if I press down again, it then takes you to your app library. Now, one of the things you probably want to do straight away is add one of those really nice looking video wallpapers. Well, to do that, let's press down and we can see in your application list, it does actually add a tile for wallpaper. Here we are, let's click on that. And all of these are built in, so you don't need to download anything extra, but if you want to, you can also upload your own wallpaper. So now we can see our option of dynamic wallpaper, static, combination, and then real time. Let's go for dynamic. Let's click on that. And we now have a couple of categories like the new year. We have snow, clouds. Now, if you want to preview something, uh, let's go back to snow. Let's say I'm looking at this one uh, over here. If I press the select button, in a couple of seconds, you can see the video wallpaper. So you can see it has a, a moving uh, stream as well as the clouds. So some of them I think are probably a bit too much because you don't want that kind of distraction on your home screen, but something like this, a bit more relaxed in the background, looks actually really nice. Let's go back. Then you have clouds. I'm sure you'll like the space one. Let's go to uh, C. Okay, so we've got a nice beach one over here. Let's try this one. Oh, that's quite nice. That's not too intrusive. So if I want to go for this one, let's click on download. That will then automatically download that video wallpaper to your device. I can then click on setup. I can set it as the wallpaper or just as a screensaver. I'm going to set it up as both. That's now done. So now when I press back, back again, we can see we have a really nice looking video wallpaper and I can also see all of my favorite applications. That's working great. You also have rain, uh, like this one. A bit of a cityscape. Oh, you can see the cars there is. Okay, let's try this one. Let's click on download. 
you can see how easy it is guys you can go through the library look at the different video wallpapers and whichever one you're interested in you can click on download and more or less in one click you can have a completely looking android tv or your amazon fire tv or fire tv cube that's working great now you can also customize the weather so if i go back down here next to the weather tile you'll see there's one that says uh, about us here we are so in here you can actually customize if you want to show the weather or not now it does have this built-in memory cleaning but i've tried that on my device it doesn't actually make any difference so i'm guessing this is maybe if you're using this on a phone or a tablet so i'll just turn that one off and also the recommended content i'm not seeing anything on my device either so i'll turn mine off and i will just leave the weather if i press back and the weather settings you can specify if you want to have auto location if you want it to use the location services to determine where you are or in my case you can just type in a location and you can also choose between celsius or fahrenheit let's leave celsius let's go back and then time settings will take you to the normal time settings so very easy to use and the fact that all of this is built in including the video wallpapers including the built-in weather widget i think the launcher is definitely worthwhile checking out now to set this as your home button you have a couple of options on the android tvs you can use a simple application like button mapper and you can then get it to remap your home button so it launches emoting or any launcher that you like alternatively you can use launcher manager for android tv now let me now jump over to my amazon 4k fire stick then i show you the step-by-step -step instructions on how you can get both of these applications on all of your devices so here's the application on my fire tv cube again with one click i can now launch the application and we're taken to the custom launcher where again we can see that the weather widget is working fine on the amazon devices we have that glorious looking video wallpaper now i can get access to all of my favorite applications not see any of the amazon adverts not see any of that sponsored content and it's just a super fast super slick really fast launcher okay so to get this now on all of your devices just open up downloader let's now make a quick connection to my website which is just techdoctoruk.com or you can type in the short code 53402 let's type that in and click on go and this will take you directly to my website now when you get to my site head over to the hamburger menu which is one with the three lines click on that click on tutorials and the latest tutorial in the list will be how you can get this new emotion or emotion launcher on all of your devices let's open that up here we are so we have the launcher for android tv and amazon devices no adverts supports video wallpaper has a built-in weather widget scroll down we get to see some step-by-step -step instructions underneath all of that we should have the link to the launcher so this is the launcher manager for android tv devices i'm sure you guys are familiar with this and here is the link to the new launcher now on the amazon devices as you definitely hopefully know that you can't use the home button anymore to launch a custom launcher some of you have got around this by using one of the media buttons like maybe disney plus or one of these ones to launch a custom launcher or the other option is you can also use launch on boot which i will leave a link on this page so different options to start this new launcher or any launcher that you like is something that we have to do on these amazon devices i can now click on this scroll down and you want to click on the green download button and this will download the latest version of this launcher onto your device so i personally think with what we've seen with its super clean layout really fast interface with a built-in weather widget and of course those really nice looking video wallpapers i think this launcher is really special and definitely worthwhile checking out and also what's really special just for the month of may you can get total protection for all of your devices with maximum speed you can get 50 dollars off the yearly plan which works out as just over three dollars a month all devices covered even your laptops your tablets windows pcs everything will be covered with a single license you can then change your ip address you can hide what you're doing so your isp can't track you they can't monitor you to get that i think this offer is definitely worthwhile checking out you can also go for the two-year plan which works out as just under three dollars a month so it does help support the channel so many thanks if you want to do that do have a look in the video description and the pinned comment if you want to take up this special offer it is only for the next two weeks do leave me a comment below let me know what you think and i'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon
Thanks.